Primus, Deus, cujus misericordiae et me fidelium requiescant, ac tumulum benedicere et dignare, et aque angelum tuum sanctum, deputatus corem. En corum en quarum que corpora hic sepeliantur, semper sine die letratur, per Christum Domilum non. Memento homine quia pulvis est et in pulverem revertes. Et profondis clada de atri domine. Come nana, that's all. Well, girl, what are you dreaming about? Get on with your work. Who will put up the tombstone over my mother? Tombstone? The poor don't have tombstones. Paupers are lucky to be buried at all. When I'm rich, I shall buy her one myself. Well, you're rich, eh? <laughs> that little weasel Saturn put them ideas in your head. I don't get any ideas from Saturn. I have my own. You have, eh? No, when a poor girl like you starts talking of being rich. It means you'll end as your mother did. As all bad women end. My mother was not bad. She was weak. Weak? Yes, weak. <laughs> it's men who make women whatever they are. I don't know what I'll be. But I won't be weak. And I won't be poor. Tonight, ladies. I'll tell you that later. Mm. We have soldiers with us also. Comrades of France, I would stroll. Stroll? Why, you. You optimist. You can't even walk. No? Well, we shall argue that point right here and now. Oh, now that's the way. <laughs> Our army is a little drunk. That's what soldiers are for fight and drink. Wait a minute. Hey, wait, hold you did, don't let... Ladies, may I say that the pleasure, the pleasure... Pleasure, yes. I understand you. Shall I go and bring him back? No, oh, let him alone. When they go, we'll pick him up. I would I had not met you as I am. When I am what I am. Sit down and tell us when is that. Sit down, I shall. And welcome the suggestion. <laughs> you are charming, Mademoiselle. Even as I am, I realize your attraction. Well, this is a poor place to realize that. You know where I should like to go now? No, tell us that. To the river. The cool, glorious river. To destroy yourself, you ask? To cool my poor head. Poor soldier. His head is so hard. Such sympathy. Such understanding. Oh, what a nuisance you are. Go away, please. I'm tired of you. What? You mean to insult me? I knew it would be like that. Now he'll want to fight. Will you go back where you came from, please? Not until you explain why you so rudely dismiss me. Huh. No common woman has ever dared. Poor soldier. His head is still hot. Come along with me. A little walk will help you. Nana, I wouldn't. Oh, let her alone. 
Look, he's going with her. Well, let him. He's only got a few more days leave. But a woman who sits about in cafes must not insult. Oh, I understand you, soldier. I understand you so well. You see, it was wrong of us to speak to you at all. Women of our kind have so little to do with soldiers. But I'm inclined to overlook it. Because of your eyes. Hmm, my eyes, huh? Because your eyes. And your poor head, huh? Mm -hmm. Pull it off, my friend. to do that body name. That was magnificent. What is she like? Can you see? Fetch her. Fetch her. Fetch her. Why did you do a thing like that? Now they'll throw us out. Oh, she won't care. Who is he to tell me I can't insult you? I can insult anyone who insults me. Your pardon, mademoiselle. May I be seated? We have just disposed of one gentleman who was seated in that chair. <laughs> I saw that. <laughs> well, what do you want? I come to you from Monsieur Greiner. Gaston Greiner, the celebrated impresario. He's interested in this girl. Truly? He is? Who is he, you see? Greiner. The great Greiner of the Apollo. Indeed. Why is he great? Mademoiselle is not familiar with the theater, or she wouldn't ask that question. I dare say Gaston Greiner in his career has made more women... Made them what? Made them famous. Made them powerful. Made them rich. Oh, now you interest me. Well, where is the celebrated one? He's there. The distinguished gentleman who's purposely paying no attention to us. The one alone. He's old. He didn't ask your age, mademoiselle. Very clever answer, monsieur. Tell him I'll see him. Will you come to the office tomorrow morning at 11? Not until he comes here and meets us first. I'm in public like this, the great Griner. Tell the great Griner. I shall be pleased to meet him here or not at all. He said you had courage. You have. Of all the stupid fools. Do you realize you may offend him? Why do you mock at such chances, Nana? What chances? Yes, yes, yes. She insists on you going to her table. Huh? So, of course, you can't go. Of course I should go. If only to show her the guest and Griner cares no more for convention than she. Come. Hold your breath, ladies. He's coming. I have not the honor of knowing your names, ladies, but this is Monsieur Griner. These are my very good friends. Satin and Mimi. My name is Nana. I watched your little comedy with the officer. May I say it was very well done. Is that why you wish to see me? The action attracted me immensely. It was done without effort, lightly, charmingly. You are an actress. You're mistaken, monsieur. I am a... Uh, the gentleman means... I mean, you can be anything you wish. Would you have champagne? Champagne? With Monsieur Greiner, we shall drink. Splendid, splendid. What now? Order champagne. So. <laughs> when one talks with the old, you don't have to be so old. I am not old, mademoiselle. May I observe that you have a lovely mouth? There is so much to a woman's mouth. I know that. I have to feel it three times a day. <laughs> <laughs> Do you really think Nana could be an actress? I shall discuss that with her later. We are alone. Alone, monsieur? Alone, of course. Do you think Monsieur Greiner carries the Apollo Theater around in his pocket? Bravo, you are glorious. You must be very rich, monsieur, since everyone tells me you're so great. What is it, money girl? Buys tapestries, pictures, statues? But even so, if you buy them, 
you know they're yours. When a man knows a thing is his, he takes good care of it, huh? Please try to remember, this is a girl of the streets, a poor homeless creature who has never known any fellows, save men like this sailor. Well, I guess I know this girl very well. Come, kitten, sit here. I will explain it to you again. How dare you tell me such a thing? I cannot see my friend, Nana. No one can see her. Those are Mr. Greiner's orders, which I have obeyed for over 20 years. But we are her old friends, really her best friends. I cannot help who you are. It's no use your taking up my time like this. Mademoiselle Nana has no wish to see you. What's that? You told her I was here? Of course I did. And she said she couldn't be bothered with any old friends. She said that. The pig! Well, don't be angry, Satin. After all, we're still what we were, and Nana's something else. That's a very sensible way to look at it. Good morning. Wait a bit, little rooster. Where's she living? She hasn't been home with us for two days. How should I know that? She's not living with me. Get me a stone. Find me a cobble. I shall throw it through the window. Oh, oh don't be stupid, Sad. What would that profit you? No. Let's go and get a drink. After all, we can still live if we never see her again. But to me, to do such a thing to me. Why, when she didn't have a suit, I fed her. She slept in my bed. Why, what if I learned of my very best petticoat when she had a friend that was quite particular? Why, you just wait and see. You so now, my dear, all I ask you to remember is that I am the potter, you are the clay. I will do the modeling. That is quite clear, huh? Huh. Of course. Now and then, girls beginning like you have an original idea, but not often. No woman has ever enjoyed a successful season under the roof of this theater and questioned why she was successful. Spreiner! Spreiner! My dear, you can be a sensation or you can be a failure, a dire failure. It's up to you. Now, my dear, we will continue with the pantomime. That is... If you have a full comprehension of what I expect of you. Certainly. I'm to be you, and you are to be me. You are to be what I make you. Please, my dear child, stop your silly question. But why? Why can't Papa take me to the concert tonight? Because I'm busy elsewhere. Then Uncle George can escort me. I'm sorry, Estelle. I'm also engaged. Oh, fiddlesticks. Estelle, such language. I planned so on the concert. My dear daughter, I regret terribly that I can't take you. I'd much rather be with you than when I'm obliged to go. Where is that, brother? I'm detailed in the escort of the Grand Duke Alexis of Russia tonight. And the disreputable old creature insists on going to the Apollo Theater. One needn't be disreputable to enjoy the Apollo. As a matter of fact, I think I should go there myself. Why do you go to the Apollo? Why is the Grand Duke disreputable? Estelle, I don't want you to join this conversation. I'm sorry, Papa, but I'm awfully interested. You shouldn't be. What are you trembling about, Zoe? What's the matter? Oh, for you, Mademoiselle, I'm so excited. Well, you needn't be. What's there to be excited no, about? Oh, Mother of Grace, hear the girl. Your first time on the stage and you are like ice. Why not? If I do not succeed, phew, I can go back where I was. And if I do succeed... Oh, you will, Mademoiselle, I know. Well, then... Zoe, are you sure that two girls, two girls in all this sort, are you sure they haven't been asking for me? For me, Mademoiselle? No. No one has asked for you, no, not at all. <laughs> as I am. Don't worry, she's... There's your brother Andrew with a duke, George. 
<laughs> Andre doesn't go about much in places like this. I dare say he's very miserable. Well, my delectable darling, soon Bryna will present Paris with another sensation. Hey, bored enough. She's all you thought, I hope. Are there many people out there? My usual crowd with a fair sprinkling of royalty. The Grand Duke Alexis is there. Oh, I've never seen a Grand Duke. What is he like? Delightful old fool, so I'm told. You're sure to attract him, Nana, my darling. But remember what I told you. Your lure is behind the footlight. Men must want to know you, but that is all. Most men get what they want. I will be back, my sweet, before time for your entrance. Be brave. Remember only what I have told you. Nothing more. You can't fail. I'm bored enough. I hope that you will succeed, my dear. That is not necessary. You know she will. I've been looking for you. That girl, Nana. I want you to present me. My dear friend, just before the curtain goes up, you would ask that. But perhaps she doesn't know the curtain goes up with my money. Which is always repaid with interest. And don't mention money matters on opening night. Disturbed me terribly. When does my lady of the sewer come on? Oh, way down here. I can wait. I can wait all night to see her fail. We are ready, monsieur, for the opening number. Bring up your curtain. Clear the stage. Be sure to tell him all about the show afterwards. He insists upon that. Just look at me, I'll throw you any line you've forgotten. Pay no attention to the prompter. I'll be standing right over there. Watch me. Why ever did you pick me? <laughs> What's next? It says Nana. Just the one word, Nana. What's next? Mm, um, uh, Nana, Your Highness. Mm. Oh, yes. Nana. Take it up brighter, brighter. Tomorrow? No. When? Never. Never? Why? Love. Dead. Dead? That's life. Kiss me and say goodbye. That's love. Up with a gale, goodbye, that's love. Press my body tight and crush my lips, hush my lips with yours. Though we 
it's just the night. Why measure it? Treasure it. It's yours. If I'm your light of love, who cares? While I've an eye to love, who cares? If my lips have made you happy, leave my arms without a sigh. I'll never ask you why. That's love. Goodbye. Oh, who is she? I said, she? She's glorious. Oh, yes. It is, I tell you, it is. Oh, Charlie, what was she be doing here? I think Leon is right. It is a girl who pushed Gregory into the pool. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, well, I'm Oh, but they want you, my beautiful darling, in non oh, well, this was all for Pop Reiner. I, it is, my sweetheart, but I must give help. Kiss me and say goodbye. That's love. Laugh with a gay goodbye. That's love. Press my body tight and crush my lips. Hush my lips with yours. Though it's just the night, why measure it? Treasure it. It's yours. If I'm your light of love, who cares? While I have an eye of love, who cares? If my lips have made you happy, leave my arms without a sigh. I'll never ask you. Why? That's love. Goodbye. Song, didn't you? Oh, was that the Grand Duke? Ah, you little faker. <laughs> Come in. The Grand Duke Alexis wishes to present his compliments to Mademoiselle Nana. I'm pleased to meet the Grand Duke. Oh, Mademoiselle, the, the honor is mine. Hmm? <laughs> oh, <laughs> well, won't you sit down? <laughs> now tell me, did you like the performance? I couldn't tell you all I thought about it. Now, it's better after supper, eh? when we are alone. 
How does one go about getting in? Well, we'll send in our cars. No, oh, I have a better way. We send in Gregory, and he says, oh. Mademoiselle, I'm the young lieutenant you fed to the trout. Won't you meet my friend? He <laughs> didn't often have a chance to dress with a duke in my room. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't I have one little look behind the curtain? It's a very thin curtain. Very well. I shall speak to her first. Well, why not? You certainly know her. <laughs> <laughs> and yet, I can't believe it's the same one. Will you hand me my stockings, Colonel Mufa? Aye, mademoiselle. The stockings. <laughs> you picked the wrong courier, mademoiselle. You should have chosen me. No. <laughs> no. Colonel Miller shall hand me my stockings. You, my highness, you shall pass me my garters. Colonel, make haste. Well, Nana, my dear, you are embarrassing your guests. If the good colonel is embarrassed at handing a pretty girl her stockings, <laughs> there's something wrong with the education of the good girl. Oh, no. Really, Your Highness, I was delighted. <laughs> yes. Garters. Garters. Where are the garters? Look in the jewel box before the mirror. Oh, yes. Here, here they are. Here they are. Here they are. Oh, yes, those are the ones. My only ones. You won't have to say that tomorrow night. Shall I put them on? Pardon me, Your Highness. Yes, yes, what is it? What is it? Mr. Guider's compliments. He was wanted on the stage. Oh, yes, no doubt, no doubt. Very nice. Uh, that fool. A little fool. How dare she make me look so cheap? You're very hard hit this time, my friend. You've lost all your good sense. The Grand Duke's visit to our dressing room tonight is worth millions. I know, I know, boy, now. For the first time in my life, I'm jealous. Well, if you're all wrong and she's not the girl of the fool, you pay for the supper. Very well. We will. We will. But how are you going to prove it? Well, I'm going in and ask her. I'm keeping you waiting. You will pardon me. I must wish Monsieur Grand a good night. It's customary in the theater. Well, we'll run along, my dear. Remember, supper will be waiting. Oh, what? Oh, your, your partner. Who are you? Come, found the luck. I lose. You shouldn't say that here. Who are you? Well, tell me, you, you are the girl who, a few weeks ago, at the, the Garden of the Seven Trout, you, you pushed the lieutenant into the pool? Yes, but you're not the one. Oh, oh no, no, he's outside the door. Uh, we're all out there, I mean, uh, well, we were trying to get in, we... Uh, we didn't know how to... What you are, Arlene? Oh, I forgot. I'm looking for someone. Oh, I say... Uh, <laughs> I mean, uh, do you ever, uh, have you ever... Yes, I do, and I have. <laughs> what is it? I wish I could take you to supper. Oh, I wish you could, but not tonight. Well, some other night, yes? Some other night, yes. Oh, oh don't say any more. You might say the wrong thing. I don't want you to. Reiner. How could he behave that way? Wait, wait, wait. Now, do you want me to go with the Grand Duke or not? It is as much for you as for me. I'll have a good supper. Get to bed early. I hustle tomorrow at 11 o'clock. Oh, you sweet one. <laughs> I'm sure she hasn't come out yet. You're blind that you can't see as well as I. What are you going to say to her? I don't know. I was going to curse her, but now... Yeah, well, don't worry. If she wouldn't see us, chances are she won't speak to us. And now, my highness, 
Shall we go to supper? Oh, yes, 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 of course, of course. I, you go. Uh, uh, lead the way. Yes. Then we shall take my arm and then, and then, and then cling, cling tightly to me. And, 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 my two best friends, Satin and Mimi. And say something nice, Alexis. They have never met a grand duke before. How did do? Oh, yes, yes, of course. Charm. Yeah, me too. Oh. Now, what have I happened to you? Why didn't you come and see me? What well, don't we... is waiting, Your Highness. Uh, yes, yes, now, 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 my dear. Say, say good night to your little friends. Good night. Oh, no, no, my Highness, please. They shall go with us. Go with us? Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> Gentlemen, you will escort my friends. I, oh, I got the best one. Hello. Oh, this was oh, worth waiting for. Do come and all right. Good morning, Sabine. Good morning, George. Good morning, Andre. Good morning, George. Good morning, Stealth. Good morning, Uncle George. How did you enjoy the performance last night, Andre? Andre was just telling us. The Duke took that actress, Nana, to supper and made him go along. Oh, he did? Really? How ghastly for you, Andre. Papa said the girl who went with the Duke was a gilded fly. What is a gilded fly, Uncle George? I'm sure I don't know. I don't think your father does either. George. Well, I, I don't think he does. Let's make him tell us. Now, Andre. What is a gilded fly? Well, a fly that's hatched in the gutter and carries poison. Oh, really? She didn't impress me that way at all. Indeed. mad about her, if that's what you mean. I'm growing old, bored now, my friend. There can't be many more. I must be sure of her. You think placing her in an establishment like this will guarantee you? I made her a great success in the theater. She must live like a successful woman. She lived like a kind. You can't change that. <laughs> Because I won't look until you tell me. No, 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 my <laughs> darling. You are just in time. Your little home is all ready. Now, open your lovely eyes. Oh. oh, it's all so beautiful. Oh, you wonderful men. You are so sweet to me. It's lovely, is it not, Nana? Oh, it's all so wonderful, but now... Oh, I can't talk. Did you have a nice lunch? 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 You, you did have lunch, didn't you, oh. my darling? Well, yes, uh, I did. That's what I said. Did you enjoy it? Oh, very much. Because there were no inquisitive old men around. Yeah. Say, so you're right, boys, now. Your manners are very bad. Go out and air them. Come, come, my darling. Come. What do you think of the place where my precious is to rest? Oh, it's so beautiful. <laughs> oh, I adore you. Do you hear me? I adore you. 
Watch this. What is what, Papa Greiner? This. <laughs> it's a necklace, dear. A necklace. Now, don't scold. You said I could have an account with the jewelers. You bought this? Bought it, of course. How else would I get it? It's very expensive. How much did it cost? <laughs> the man wouldn't tell me. He said it was so beautiful and just suited me and he would ah, What man said that? The jeweler's man, darling. Oh, what are you making such a fuss about? Can't I buy my own jewelry? Don't I earn money? By the way, uh, how much money do you pay me for my acting? You never told me that. And I think it is high time uh, now. What shop did you buy this? I won't tell you. Just to punish you for asking such questions. No, I won't tell you. Wait, girl. Don't you play with me. I made you. I can break you. Oh. Threats. It's come to this already. Threats. <laughs> the first hour in my beautiful home. And he threatens me. I didn't. <laughs> You're dead. All because I asked you what my salary is. Oh, it, it wasn't about that. It, it, well, well, it's about this silly old necklace here. Send it back. Huh? Throw it away. <laughs> I don't want it if it makes trouble between us. No. <laughs> wait, 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 my sweet. I, I, I was jealous. I was jealous. I love you so much. I was afraid that that miserable old Grand Duke would... Oh. How could you think such things of me? Would the Grand Duke give me presents like that for nothing? Would he? I think not. Oh! Then you thought... No, I didn't. Yes, you did! No. Oh. Oh, no, oh, no, 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 don't no. speak to me again today. Oh, no, I won't kiss you. I won't smile for you. I won't do a thing you wish. Oh, no. no, please, leave me for a while. I have to think. Oh. Oh, you have nearly killed me. No, 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 no. Get out, no, no. Get out please. No, no please, no, no. 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 I want the money that was paid for it. You see, <laughs> everyone has been giving me a necklace. And I'm tired of them. Now, I understand, mademoiselle. We cannot return the money to you. But we have a sort of branch office where I can send you. Oh, uh, thanks, monsieur. I will go. <laughs> I'm very fond of this restaurant, Andre. We came here years ago, remember? Of course, my dear. That's why I like it. I laugh when I think of the predictions that were made when we were married. They said I was not tempestuous enough for Andre Mufa. Remember? Idle chatter. You've been a very devoted wife. I understand you. That is everything. What is it? Don't look too suddenly. But George is over there with a very beautiful woman. <laughs> that Sabine is none other than Mademoiselle Nana of the Apollo. She is Nana? Why, she's gorgeous. Oh, common sort of way, I suppose. But all physically. Have you finished? We'll go. But darling, the Apollo will soon close for the season. And in the summer, I'm sentenced to the country with my brother and his family. But in the country? They have a villa near Versailles. We go there every summer. Oh, I have always wanted to spend the summer in the country. Near Versailles. Is it nice there? <laughs> mm. 
Where is George? I don't know, my dear. Gone for a walk somewhere. <sighs> Poor George. He doesn't seem to be very happy in the country. Papa! Papa! Do you know who occupies the villa over there? The one almost touching ours? Because if you don't, I do. It's the Gilded Fly. What? The Gilded Fly. You know the woman from the Apollo. How do you know that, my dear? The gardener told me. He says she's beautiful. And I said, well, that's odd, because my papa said she was a gilded fly. You said that to the gardener? Well, papa did say it. Don't scold her, Sabine. Now, remember, Estelle, no matter what the gardener thinks of her, papa was right. Yes, papa. Oh! Oh! Strawberries, big red strawberries. Fetch a dish, Zoya. A dish? A dish. Isn't it fun here away from dirty Paris? I only have fun when I'm dirty. And I love Paris. That's why you love Paris, because you're dirty. Well, you fell in love with the country all of a sudden, didn't you? <laughs> Don't what? quarrel. Pick. See? Mimi loves vegetables and everything. Oh, it's easy to love vegetables. And everything. Oh. Why, if it isn't the general, I didn't recognize you without your uniform. Oh, these are my two friends, Satin and Mimi. You nearly miss meeting them, as they are going to the house to fetch a dish. Oh, are we? Of course we are. No, no, don't drive them away. Uh, we could go. Oh, no. They shall go. And we shall pick the berries. Come on, Mimi. Berries are berries. Well, of course they are. Well, come on. Well, how do you like my garden? <coughs> I like what's in it. Because it isn't as pretty as my house. You should see my house. I intend to. Now? Now. <laughs> Oh, no. We'll go in the side door. All right. <laughs> <laughs> You'll get her in trouble with Griner, both of you. You have no sense. No, have you? Well, I'm not supposed to have. That's the reason why I've been with Griner so long. You think she's in love with this fellow? <laughs> well, I've seen stranger things happen. So have I. But I can't remember when. I think you like my house. I like it all right. You're a woman. What do you suppose they're doing out there in the garden? Oh, she's probably giggling and asking him why strawberries don't grow on trees. And by now, perhaps he thinks they do. <laughs> <laughs> and this is my room. My very own. This big room, all your own? <laughs> you selfish girl. Please, George. You like your own way, don't you? And you know, he looks something like this fellow. For five long years, I loved him like a crazy woman. And then he went away, and all I had to remember him by was a button. A button? Yes. He was a soldier, and he gave me a button off his coat. You hear that, Mamie? Five long years. And all she got was a button off. Perhaps it was a pretty button. It was. I still have it. I'll show it to you someday. Good joke on her if I walk back with that dish she sent us for. No. When people can make love in the middle of a lot of vegetables. Maybe we better go in a house and leave them alone. <laughs> wow! And so, 
ladies, tonight is past and we have brought you safely home. You don't have to make a speech. We don't own the villa. We're not even welcome guests. Then when shall I see you again? <laughs> That's no question to be asking. Six o'clock in the morning. Go home. Get up. Goodbye. Bye. Oh. Good morning, Andre. Good morning, George. You're up early. You too, apparently. Mean for an early morning climb? Well, just a little walk. Yes. You've been using the windows quite frequently of late, haven't you? I didn't want to disturb the house. There are more ways than one to disturb a house, George. Our house bears a fine name. We should both respect it. I think I do. I'm afraid you don't. Oh, I've known about this woman for some time. At first, I thought it was just the usual affair. Just a minute, Andre. Why talk about something you don't understand? I love Nana. And that's all there is to it. What? You love her? Why, oh, you talk like a child, not like a grown man and a soldier. There can't be love for a woman like that. I think we'd better stop this discussion before we both say something we might regret. Nana and I love each other, and we're going to be married. You marry her? Yes. Now, will you please change your tone? You fool, George. This woman's taking complete possession of you. You're incapable of thinking clearly or acting sanely, so one must act for you. You'll report to your regimental headquarters this morning. You're not my commanding officer. Your commanding officer will receive instructions. You mean you'll have my leave cancelled? I'm ordering you to report to your command. I won't go. Are you forgetting you're still in the service of His Majesty? You'll go, or you'll find yourself escorted. I love you too much to see you wreck yourself as you're doing. That's final. Oh, a visitor is here. What is this? More jokes? No, truly. It's Colonel Nuva. You know, the one who was with the Grand Duke. What does he want? He wants to see you. I'll tell him to come back later. Wait a second, wait a second. What does he want? All right, bring him in. Oh, what a morning and what the house! Mademoiselle Nara. I felt from the first that sooner or later I should be obliged to make this call. Yes? So I saw my brother George early this morning. Oh, very early. And I told him a few plain facts, knowing he'd be sensible enough to realize they were facts and act accordingly. Go on. And I know that you also are too sensible to question those facts, and that therefore we consider the matter settled. Now, see here, I've brought 20,000 francs with me, which I feel will recompense you in some measure for the pain it will cause you. What is this for? This is full payment for the great love you bear my brother George. You're giving him up, you know. Could you find your way out alone, or shall I ring for Zoe? Oh, I can find my way, thanks. Hey, here, don't forget this. I beg your pardon. I shan't discuss it with you. You're too mean and narrow, and you wouldn't understand. 
It isn't what I understand. It's what you must. You didn't think, did you, that I let him go on and wreck his life with a woman like you? What do you know of a woman like me? I know all I care to. You attract, you seduce, you destroy. Your reputation is too well known for any defense. No, mademoiselle, my brother will give you up. Your brother will not give me up. I'm sure you heard what I said. Will you hand me my stockings, please? Oh, don't look like that. You did it once before, you know. Oh, you won't. Well, never mind. I don't need them. What is wrong with me, Colonel? Why is the love I have for George bad for him? Tell me, Colonel. I shan't argue with you. I love him and I won't see him destroyed. Oh, no. It isn't love for George that makes you do this. Oh, no, my friend. All your life, you've tried to be what you are not. All my life, I've been what I am. That's what I say. Look at me. I belong to George. And you would crucify him because he has what you have never known. I never wished for women like you. You have. I have not. You have. Never. You liar. <laughs> now, my colonel, look at yourself. And you'll see how your mind has lied to your body all these years. You hypocrite. Take your money and get out. Or I shall hate myself all my life for having touched you. And so I thought you ought to know it, monsieur. As I felt quite sure you're not the type of man to take such things lightly. There is no mistake. You are positive. Charge her with it. See what she says. Thank you, Colonel. And I shall ask you to promise that neither my name nor my brother's is mentioned in this. My business is not with you or your brother. It is with her. Good morning. Good morning. Papa Grana. You sent board now for me? I sent board now for you. Don't sit down. You won't be here long. Oh, Papa Grana, why are you so rude to me? Rude to you? You slime of the streets. You're in love with a young man, deny that. I won't deny it. You have loved him for some time. I won't deny that. He was down in the country when I was up here. Well, you both couldn't be there. You have no excuse for your contemptible conduct. Why should I excuse it? I've just told you I love him. Do I? You do, eh? Now you listen to me, you alley cat. I took you from the streets. I made your name the best known in Paris. Now I'm going to send you back from where you came. You hear that? You're letting me go from there, Polo. Letting you go? Ha! I'm kicking you out! I'll teach you that to betray Griner is to cut your theatrical throat. You'll never earn another sou in any theater in this city. You think not, huh? Very well, my friend. I shall go to Goucher of the Frivolity. Uh, you will, eh? Not when I've told him your love story. You'll go back where you belong, to a park bench, where your revenue is assured. And if I had to do that, it would be better than what I have known with you. You made me, huh? Did you? Well, I paid you for it. Do you hear? I paid you more than anyone knows. I gave you the greatest chance a woman ever had. You did. Because it was in your theater I met the only man I ever loved. You. Come, 
I'm grinding none of that. If she's gone, someone must take her place. No, no, darling. Not just Paris. I'm going to Algeria. Algeria? I don't understand. Where is that? It's it's a long way, my own. But it won't be for long. Only a month. And I'll write to you every day. You'll write to me and wait for me. I'll write and I'll wait for you. But I can't understand why, if I love you, that it must happen. Oh, I must go, darling. I'll send you my address from Paris. Kiss me. Tell me you love me again. Oh, I love you. You know I love you. Come back, oh, please. Come back. Nothing can keep me away, darling. Nothing. Goodbye. Goodbye. What brings you here, Ducky? Hungry? No, I'm not hungry. And that's a dirty way to talk to me when you haven't seen me in months. You walked out and left us when Nana lost her job, didn't you? Walked out? She ran. <laughs> I did not. I thought there were uh, too many of us here with Nana. What sort of an excuse is that? And when things got poorer, you decided to go back to work and spend the money on yourself. <laughs> the way you look, dearie, you haven't spent much. <laughs> Well, I haven't got money laid away in the bank like you have, you fat old... Who man. has me? Me, without a sou in the world, and she says that to me? Oh, I shall die of shame. Well, if you do, Nana will pay for it. Oh, my poor heart is breaking. Well, go in the other room and break it quietly. How is Nana? What's she doing? Nothing. There's nothing for her to do. She's still in love, Satin. Well, she'll never get anywhere in the theater as long as she talks about it. Don't worry, my Satin. It won't be long now until she's cured. You see, she hasn't heard a word from him in all these months. No? How could that be? Well, you see, we forget to post her letters and his get lost. You do that to her? You swine! Well, now, wait a minute, Satin. If I didn't know it was for her good, I wouldn't blame you, but... But Satin, this affair with Mufa has almost ruined her. Why, well, she's lost her jewels, her, her gowns, her furs, everything. And as soon as she forgets him, right away she'll be her old self again. And thank us for it someday. Well, if she ever thanks you for doing that to her, I'd like to be there to hear it. Well, tell Nan I was up. Yes, now, tell her what you said to me, you gutter rat. No, you won't. She might ask you if it's true. Well, bye-bye, Mimi. If you meet me on the street and uh, you're alone, speak to me. Hello, Nana. Hello. What news? None. But you have good news for me. A letter from George. No letter. None. Oh, I can't understand it. I can't make it out. If we had quarreled, if I had done something, but I've been so good. Oh, I've tried to be so good. Oh, well, quit trying. You kill yourself going on like this. Oh, I'm just a fool, I guess. Yes, you are a fool. No, I am not. I'd do it all over again. I love him. Oh, I don't know why, but I love him. Well, here's a little brandy. Take that. Then come and lie down and rest. You're good to me, Mimi. You were always good to me. Do 
Do you know whom I saw today? <laughs> the Grand Duke. No. Kreiner. The great Kreiner. The theatrical sculptor who breaks his models when he's finished with them. Where did you see him? Coming out of the Café of the Seven Trout. He had a girl with him. <laughs> Another Nana, I dare say. Well, I guess he's forgotten you. But I haven't forgotten him. I'll pay him back. Wait and see. When George and I are married, we shall go to one of his opening nights. Oh, don't talk about getting married. Here, take another little drop of this. There are other ways to repay Griner. Of course. It seems to me that if I'd been talked to the way he talked to you, I wouldn't rest until I was in another theater here in Paris, creating a big sensation, showing Griner what a fool he was. Yes. That would be sweet. Wouldn't it? Here is the last letter I shall write to George. If he doesn't answer this, well... Shall I post it for you, Nana? Shall I? Cherie! Cherie! Oh, listen, Cherie. Mimi, get a little drop of brandy first. Oh, I don't want any. George! George is here! No, darling. George is not here. But his brother, the Colonel, is. He's downstairs. Colonel Mufa? What does he want? I don't know. He wouldn't tell me. He asked to see you alone. Oh, he seems very humble and sort of ashamed. Is that possible? Well, I'm glad to hear it. But I need not see him to appreciate it. It might be about his brother, Nana. Oh, I never thought of it. Do you think that could be it? Oh, yes, of course. Well, oh, tell him I'll see him. Come on, Mimi. We'll go down to the cafe and have a bite of supper while she's seeing him. We'll send the colonel up on our way out. Zoe, Zoe, we, we, we better post this letter. It's her last to George. Well, I'm glad. Then our work is done. Oh. Come in. Mademoiselle. Monsieur the Colonel. It's a bit awkward, isn't it? Is it? I mean, uh, now that I'm here, I... I don't know just how to begin. Will you sit down? Thanks. What I wish to say, what I'm wanting to tell you is that I'm truly sorry. Not for breaking up your affair with my brother, but for causing you to lose your engagement with Griner and reducing you to the circumstances you're in. What good is it to tell me you're sorry now? If one is truly sorry, mademoiselle, one can make amends. So I presume you are going to have your brother transferred back to Paris. No, no, no. I, I cannot do that. But I think I can succeed in getting your place back in the theater. You could? Not with Griner. But Monsieur Gouchard of the Frivolity is about to do a new review. And I have no doubt that... I have seen Monsieur Gouchard. He asks... Too much. I feel sure he could be persuaded to sing more of his audience than of anyone back of the footlights. Oh, 
Why are you telling me all this, Colonel Muffer? You know you are joking. You know you can't do this. Would I be here if I couldn't? I could really go to the frivolity? To be on the stage again? Another opening night? And people, wonderful people clapping their hands and loving me. I could do that. You mean it, my colonel? I mean it, my girl. I can complete arrangements for you tomorrow. Once I kissed you. Because I hated you. Because I wanted you to know those things of life which you did not know. Now I kiss you because I forgive you. Lieutenant, I know you're very unhappy. And it's bad for all of us when soldiers are unhappy. Can I help you? I've repeatedly asked you for leave, sir, which you have not granted me. My dear boy, you've been here barely four months. I know all that, sir. But I must get away. Really, I must. It's a woman, of course. I shan't attempt to deceive you. Yes, Colonel, it is. You're not married? Uh, secretly, I mean. No, sir. <laughs> In that case, you'll recover. Stick it out, Lieutenant. I'll see what I can do for you. Not now. You won't let me kiss you, dear? I'd much rather you didn't, if you don't mind. Why? Oh, let's not discuss it, please. You're drinking too much. That's what's changed you. I won't have any more of it, you understand? I forbid it. You what? Well, I mean, dear, you must consider your beauty and your, your career. You have your, your theater to consider. Don't forget that. Every day of my life, I remember everything. Don't you forget that. If you don't mind, I should like to be alone. You're not going to dinner with me? No, I don't want any dinner. Go along to a club. I don't go to my club anymore. Haven't been there for some time. I don't quite know where to go. You see, I... Poor old Andre. <laughs> We're a fine pair, aren't we? We should be very proud of ourselves and each other. Oh, but I love you. That repays me for everything. But I don't love you. So nothing can repay me for what I've done. Good 
the Mover. The holy Mover. The Mover who hated bad women, but learned to love them. Mimi, what do we do? I've never seen her act this way before. What can we do? She's acting crazy. Come. Toast! I speak to you a moment. I dare say. Why not? Come in. I'm rather in a hurry. Won't you come out here? Of course. Pardon me. Nana, why? Why in heaven's name do you do such things to me? Oh, I don't know. Only sometimes I hate you. I know it. I feel it. And I don't know why. No man in Paris ever gave up more for a woman than I have for you. Please, don't remind me of that. But I must, because it's true and I want you to realize it. Oh. I don't mean money. I mean everything I lived for up to the time I met you. My code, my standards, they've all been lowered. My pride is gone. And I don't care, mark that. I don't care. So long as I have you. Oh, I'm sorry. I was rotten, I know. You forget sometimes, that's all. Listen, dear. I've been called to the war office. It looks as though Prussia wanted war. Uh, get these people away. When I come back, we'll go to dinner somewhere, alone. Together. Alone. Will you? Oh. I wanted to go out to the cafe of the Seven Trout tonight. Oh, but dear, that it's, that's like dining in the open street, not there. But I wanted to take Satin and Mimi with me. I'll come home early, please. Well, of course, if your mind is made up, I, uh, I must accept it, I suppose. Promise me you'll return early. And alone, I'll be waiting for you. I can keep my word sometimes. I love you. Table, please. It means so much to me. Delighted, Mademoiselle. Nana, we play her song for her. They're playing your song, Nana. They weren't playing it a year ago, dear. I wonder. All been worth it. People of Paris, your attention a moment. War has been declared between France and Prussia. Are you sure? Yes, we What's 
I tell you a long time ago? If you have soldiers, you must have a fight. Yes, Nana. It's George. But how? Why? I mean, where did you come from? From Algeria. My troop got in tonight. I learned where you lived and I hurried here. Well? Oh, my dear, my own. Why didn't you write me? I was wondering what your excuse was to be, so that's it. Why didn't I write? Yes, why didn't you? Don't lie. You never have. Let me tell you, please. I'll... Tell me what? Tell me how for six months I've lived in hell, waiting, waiting for just one word from you? I didn't know how much I loved you. Do you hear me? I didn't know until I got out there and waited, waited for just one word, one word from you. Well, go on, say something. Tell me, who was it kept you from writing me? Tell me, who is he? George. Oh, please. As you loved me once, please go away now, just tonight. Oh, go away. Meet me tomorrow. Let me talk to you. Oh, darling, something is wrong. I wrote you. Quit I wrote it. you. Don't lie anymore. I could kill you for what you've done to me. But, but I won't. Because, because I love you. I love you. Sure. Well, go with me somewhere, anywhere now, right now. Let me, let me tell you all the truth. The truth? Yes, the truth. I'll tell you, but not here. Will you go with me, please? You know I will. I must. You're all I have. I don't care who's taken you from me. He can't keep you. You hear? You're mine. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, yes. Wait, wait, my wife. We'll go at once, at once.
George. Andre. Andre. You're a persistent fellow, Andre. How could you have learned so soon that I was here? There's no use this time, old man. You can't send me back to Algeria, so you might as well quit trying to separate us. Come now. Don't look like that. I told you before that I loved her and... Just a moment. Where's Nana? She's inside. Getting ready to go with me somewhere, anywhere. She's not going anywhere with you. Don't use that tone to me anymore, Andre. You've spoken for me for the last time. I'm not speaking for you. I'm speaking for myself. For yourself? For myself. You mean... You? Nana? Yes. You're in my apartment. No! No, no! I won't believe it! I don't! Nana! Tell this crazy man he lies! I do. Don't drag her into this. I'm telling you the truth. Now, don't make me prove it to you. I'm telling you the truth. Now, get out, please. Leave us alone. Get out? Leave you here? You had me sent away so that you might take her for yourself. You did that to me? I'll kill you! I'll kill you for this! Brother or no brother, I'll run this blade through your heart! Darling, don't leave me, please. I have so much to say. But I'm, af I'm afraid not much time to say. Listen, George. This is best. Far best for me to go. I could never bring happiness to you. I never brought happiness to any anyone, not even to myself. You see, I was born all wrong. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Don't, don't say that. Now I can go. And I'm glad I'm going. Oh, very glad. 